feminism is beating it over these girls' heads that they can't sleep with guys on the first date and that they have to find a position of power or whatever. They want the alpha male that's gonna fucking bring them home and do a magic trick. <laughs> this is Francois checking in with Evolution Daily. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the power of pink sweaters. Francois, checking out. Let's go. Hey, what's up? I I'm Francois. I'm, I'm Francois. An ID? Yeah. Why do you want to see an ID to prove that my name? Why do you not believe that my name is Francois? This is called name shaming. Just so you know, it's like as if you're hating me for being white. You're hating that my name is Francois. Aaron, a Aaron. A Aaron. That's what my grandpa has always called me. A Aaron or Francois, just like whatever, dude. One second. Give us one second. One second. Why does she look like she doesn't approve? She doesn't approve of anything I do. Really? Hey, kiss my cheek really quick. What? Kiss my cheek. Okay, kiss my lips while they're all not looking. Hey, let's hang out later. Yeah. Are you wearing heels right now? Yeah. Okay, good. So without them, you'll be a little shorter than me. Oh, no, okay, no. But, but my hair poof is kind of like. You're right. With the hair poof? Let me bring that up. There we go. All right, cool. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. You just want to get out of here? Let's rock and roll. No, 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 I'm kidding. You have to say goodbye. It's too early for that. It's yeah. You're right. It is too early. It's not like 11. It's far too early for that, yeah. 1 a.m.? Wait, it's like three hours. Whoa, oh, you want to leave at 1? Right. Okay, perfect. Look at Shake on it. Yeah, okay, we'll leave together at one o'clock. Perfect. I'm down for that. So, I, one time, I'll just show you this quick little story. So one time, I was out on a date with this chick who was really hot. I met her from Night Game, okay? And the whole time, she's just so shy, dude, right? She's so fucking shy and just quiet. And I'm thinking, man, she's not that into me. I'm definitely not gonna pull, blah, 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 right? I'm thinking these thoughts. But my whole thing is like always shooting my shot, right? I'm always gonna say something to shoot my shot. So it's not gonna be like, all right, so hey, you ready to like, you ready to go fuck? It's, it's not that, right? But it, but it's, so what do you got going on? A, a lot of times it'll be this. So what do you got going after this? You know, oh, I mean, I was probably just gonna go home and chill, whatever. Okay, cool, invite me over. Oh, I mean, you can if you want, eh, whatever, right? So now the way that I really like to pull from dates is I love bringing up shows and movies, okay? It's a great conversational topic, bringing up shows and movies. Oh, I'm currently obsessed with Game of Thrones, whatever. Oh, I've actually never seen it, eh, 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 whatever. Oh, blah, blah, what do you like? Oh, I like Dexter. Oh, that's cool, I love that show, whatever. So you start talking about some shit, right? And then whenever I go to pull, or and then usually right then and there, I'll say, perfect, we can go watch blah, blah, blah later, okay? Oh, have you seen that Joe Rogan Netflix special? No, oh, it's so funny, blah, 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 whatever. We're gonna go watch it later. And she'll be like, oh. And she'll be like, oh, okay, you know, huh, we'll see, whatever. And then at the end, I'll be like, I'll be like, all right, perfect, well, let's head back to my place. And, uh, you know, like I said, we'll go watch that special, whatever, something like that. Um, if they're into you, they're into you, and it doesn't require trickery or something, right? But anyways, but anyways, to get back to my story, at this time, uh, so I got her to come over to watch like some shit on Netflix, right? And at this time, I was doing this magic trick when I would get girls back into my house. This is gonna sound corny as fuck, but I would, I'd be like, hey, you wanna see a magic trick? And they'd be like, yeah, and I'd pull out this deck of cards. And it's, an, it's a long, elaborate magic trick, dude. It takes like 10, 15 minutes to do it. But by the end of it, when you say to her, when you have one card left, face down, and you're like, I guarantee you this is your card. And they'll be like, there's no fucking way, there's no way that's my card, whatever. And I'll be like, if it's, my, if it's your card, you have to kiss me. And so I did that to her, and I flip it over, and literally she's blown away, and I just grab her and start making out with her, and I fuck the shit out of this girl, okay? And this is not a girl that I would have pinpointed as like, this girl's totally DTF, right? There's girls where I'm out on the date with where I'm like, oh, they're DTF as fuck, and then I ask her, and she's like, she's like, no, I have to go study, whatever, right? So all, all I really want to say is every time you do go on one of these dates with these girls, no matter what you think, you don't have to be aggressive about it, but no matter what, go for that. Go for that hangout afterwards, for sure, 100%.
Promise me. Okay. No matter what. Yes, because you don't know, dude. Again, these girls just might be a little shy, a little conservative. They might be looking for that alpha male motherfucker that's gonna drag the sexuality out of them. Feminism is beating it over these girls' heads that they can't sleep with guys on the first date and that they have to find a position of power or whatever. They want the alpha male that's gonna fucking bring them home and do a magic trick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying?